So hello guys, here we are with a very infamous question how to get started into bug bounties and how to get your first bounties. So this will be a complete video, a complete guide on it. So before starting the video, I would like to share a few things like if you're already into bug bounties and willing to uh, kickstart your bug bounty, uh, bug bounty journey, then try a look, uh, take a look on our all of the courses. All the courses should be looking at you here now. These are the few of our live courses and now let me show you the recorded courses that are available here. So that are our two sort of courses. If you want anything else or recording of those courses, then you can just DM us on our number mentioned in the description. Now let's get into the video. When it comes to the thing like how to get started into bug bounties, now we need to uh, clear up few things. Okay. Uh, for checking out or for the clearing the bug bounty, we need to uh, take a look on few things like First of all, according to our podcast, if you have seen any of our previous podcasts, then you know that you have to understand the fundamentals, first of all. And if you haven't watched our, any of our podcasts, check it out. The podcast link is in the description or also in the suggestions. So check a look there. Now, uh, before actually going into bug bounties or testing on real life websites, you need to take a clear look on fundamentals or what are the basics of bug bounties, what are the basics of country networking. What are the basics of web pen testing? What is the basic or how the web works, right? You need to understand how the website works. And after it, you can do few things like, yeah, you can just try yourself with the basic ideas, basic resources, basic, you know, approach. And then you can get your first bounties and like that. But also with only learning the fundamentals, you won't get any bounty. That's the clear logic. You need to understand few things like uh, what is, what is uh, basic vulnerability? Now, after looking at the bug bounties, you need to define your uh, knowledge on it. So you can go and try like me, hack the box and multiple things. You can go there, check out the challenges in hack the box. You can check out the web uh, fundamentals and the bug bounty section in try like me. So you will get a clear idea of how the website works, how weapon testing works and how multiple things are going to work in that. Now, the next thing that we can perform after doing that is like, you know, the approach that we need, the, what sort of approach we are talking about here. So we need to talk about the methodology, the approach. So for that, you can use some sort of, you know, labs. I won't uh, recommend labs because in my opinion, the labs is something which is made vulnerable. You will, you will not learn how to do a particular thing there, how to look for it. They are already vulnerable for it, but you can get your vulnerability knowledge and you can just clear up your skills. You can clear up your theories. You can clear up your theoretical knowledge into a practical one there. You like, suppose, you know, what is SSRF? What is RC in a basic level? You know, the labs, you know, the particular, um, let's suppose reports, you know, the particular videos, but after that, how will you understand that, how it's going to be look like in a website? So in that scenario, you can mention the two labs. I will mention the photos in here. So don't worry about it. After going for the refined skills. Now, uh, usually many of you will go live on the multiple platforms like hacker one, bug crowd, integrity, bug bounty, right? And the many more, many more platforms. But uh, I won't suggest that because you need something that is having a less crowd because on this platform, it's very hard to get bounty as a beginner. So in that conditions, you can go for responsible disclosure. Here are a few docs that you can use. You can go for, uh, obviously a few sort of, a uh, few sort of responsible disclosures, maybe vulnerability disclosure programs, maybe hall of fame, swags, usually swags are having more, you know, more traffic. But yeah, you can check for swags, uh, responsible disclosures. I will mention a few docs that will help you find them. And obviously the university websites are usually available for responsible disclosure. Don't go on the website. They're not having the disclosure. Only go to the website. They're having the disclosure. You can go there. You can have your first clear out, uh, clear pathway on it. Right. And after that, you can go with uh, a few of like, suppose you are having 10 of reported more than hundred vulnerabilities. Uh, you know about like 50 plus clear revision with vulnerabilities now. Then you can go for hacker on bug crowd and also, but I'm not saying that when you are trying to hunt on VDPs, also try a hand on the platforms. And then after learning a basic sort of things now, till that, till this video, at this point, you know, that what is how to learn bug bounty, but there are multiple things that are missing. So you need to clear up a few more things like how to keep learning, how to not stop at particular point. How can we just achieve more and more knowledge? So you need blogs. 
like there are multiple blogs available on websites multiple blogs on internet i will also mention the links in the description that can help you hell lot of uh, that can help you uh, in a big manner i will say that would be very helpful in the perspective of learning more things daily and daily so keep learning uh, keep reading blogs keep learning from that also you know the activity section of hacker one you can have a clear vision on it you will just follow it activity is one of the greatest resources that a hacker can have clear it uh, spend like hours on it a day i don't know i don't know how much time you want to spend spend almost like 8 hours a week so you will get a very great approach on it also after that you can just also try the uh, i will say disclosed pocs on youtube maybe on activity maybe on buckcrowd right and also there is a github repo the top pocs top 100 and top pocs i will mention the link in that there is pocs of every vulnerability there is a resource link or report link of every vulnerability all the bugs available on the internet now that was a basic pathway that you can follow now for those who are telling me to how to start the bug bounties how to do other things and all this thing check it out all the links in the description you have uh, if you are till here then you have watched the video so for you i have mentioned a few uh, you can say few resources few free resources that you can watch in the description so don't forget to check it out and that was for the video don't forget to take a look on the podcast and once more the course is linked in the description see you guys in the next video